Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Santorini Greek salad. To start off this Greek salad, it's pretty basic. There's only two differences here. So you're gonna need to start off with this big aguri, AKA cucumber. And you're gonna need some tomatoes. Now, here in the US, the produce just doesn't taste the same as it does in Greece. So every time I'm making Greek salad, I either use these little baby tomatoes or heirloom tomatoes. And these are gonna ensure that your tomatoes are gonna have more flavor as they do in Greece than the more traditional flavorless ones here. Next, you're gonna need some onion. You could use either red or white. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful looking tomato. So now that you have everything cut, you're gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes to a bowl with your cut up cucumber and then your rinsed onion. I'm not gonna add all of it. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a few fresh bell pepper. This next part is what makes the Santorini Greek salad different than a regular Greek salad. This right here is chloro, which is goat milk feta cheese. It's much more creamier than your regular feta. You're gonna slice this or crumble it on top of your Greek salad and have a lot of it because it's so delicious in here and it really is like the best part of the salad. If you guys see really big olives, that's not a typical Santorini olive. It hardly rains in Santorini, so the olives are very small, and they typically use these green olives. And last but not least, these are capers. Capers in Santorini grow like wild all over the island, so people use a lot of them because they're just so cheap and accessible. In other Greek islands, they're only found on gourmet dishes because they're imported and they add such a nice bite. They go together so well with everything else in here. And typically, you'll even find the leaves of the capers. You can't forget about the oregano. Unfortunately, this is not Greek oregano. And of course, your olive oil. Drizzle of oil. And this part is optional, but I love to dress my Greek salad with some red wine vinegar. It makes a little dressing. And the next day, it tastes so good once it marinates in all the vegetables. All right, now time for the best part. Time to serve this guy up. You could break the feta cheese as so, or you can just serve it right onto your serving plates and make sure that you mix this up very well. Now, the reason why I didn't add salt to the tomatoes and all the vegetables was because, if you guys didn't know, feta cheese is a little salty. Look at that, guys. Could you think of anything more fresh and delicious to eat for lunch? Now, if you took this to lunch the next day for work, it tastes so good. It actually, it tastes better in my opinion the next day because that vinegar and oil, it really marinates the onions. So it doesn't have too much of a harsh bite. Everything just really blends together so well. Stini Yazas. Mmm. Mmm. It's unbelievable how the smell and taste of this, if you close your eyes, it feels like you're in Greece. It is so incredible. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you tried it out. And as usual, stay tuned for more quick and easy recipes, all of them always with a unique twist.